It's Friday. It's Friday with Frank. It's Friday with Frank. Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hi, run Frank here. It's Friday. Put two and two together. And what have you got? It is F R I D A Y with F R I A N. Go, how are you spell that? Hey, friends. It is so good to be back. Um, it's been a while since we've since we've had Friday with Frank, and I'm bringing it back. What the heck? Um, and unimproved, virtually unimproved. Um, what I'm doing is I'm breaking. I'm, I really want to. See, it's the same squeaky chair. Nothing has changed. Lousy effects. And I promise you, particularly Chuck from Franconia College and Tom Woolley from the United States Navy, um, two of my kindest but most pointed critics, this is so unprepared today. Um, not totally. Not totally. This is great. I'm using a different camera now. It focuses on me when I move around. Like, I come in or I go out, it stays focused. This is, so what I'm trying to do, friends, is use new technology to enhance something that is still crappy. <laughs> um, just so that you can see the crap better. It's like a good photo into the toilet bowl. Um, so it's, it's like that. Anyway, it's great to be back. Oh, I, this this is a, a lot to learn. At any rate, um, we, we do want to have a topic, and this is the topic. It's kind of prepared. Um, I mean, I haven't done it yet, but it, it's in my mind. It, it's prepared, so um, it'll be great. Um, it, it, hey, but did you hear that? Yeah, it's come. We'll be closing with it. Don't you worry. Um, at any rate, hey, it's great to be back. Um, I, I, ooh, look at that. See the lighting I got. Three point lighting. I've got the, I forgot, one of these is the main light, the other is the secondary light. And I even have the, but you're supposed to have three point lighting. Yeah, they're sort of those stupid workman lights that you have in your garage. But, and also, I set the camera on automatic. It was also pink, and my, my down in the basement, everything was pink. I pressed the automatic button. Look at this, this is so great. But the show still sucks. And well, we've been at it for two, two and a half minutes now. So let's get busy. And here's the topic. I don't have a sign for it. Kind of like a, a, a what do you call it? A movie review. Um, my wife and I went to um, the Adler, no, not the Adler, I don't know, some place up in the, the Davenport, the Putnam Museum. Um, they, they have this monthly um, film. It's like a film series and they show great classics. I had never seen Citizen Kane before. The um, great classic Orson Welles movie. I've seen clips of it. I'd never seen the whole thing. It's been res digitally restored and on the on the big screen, um, and all as, as I guess I kind of call myself a filmmaker um, in in the broad sense of the kind of thing. And as a filmmaker, I want to tell you what I learned from watching Citizen Kane. You see. Back at Franconia College, everybody thought they were an expert on film, and nobody was. Um, the, the only person who knew anything about film was Tim Lundquist, who was a BSer, so you didn't believe anything that he said. But he said that s the thing with Citizen Kane was why it was groundbreaking was the cinematographic um, things that, that well, Orson Welles did, and one of them was you could see the ceilings. And I never understood, could understood what is such a big deal about seeing ceilings in a movie. Um, when I went to see this movie, went to see Citizen Kane, there, it's true, you can see the ceiling. Um, all over the place you see the ceiling. Um, what I realized was that Citizen Kane was a brand break, groundbreaking um, film in, in, in inventing techniques that I thought that I and every stupid person with a video camera nowadays had invented. Um, putting the camera in the wrong place, stupid shots, um, with, because you're just putting the camera in the most convenient place, like on, on the floor, where you get to see this you know, lousy lighting so that everyone, the, the main the main person that you're supposed to, everything you're supposed to see is in the shadow, really crappy, but it comes out looking great. And so, <laughs> all I can, what more can a guy say? Um, I'm a groundbreaker.
It's Friday. Don't it? Ah, the, I forgot. The this is the um the standard ukulele. It's a transposing instrument. If I want to do it in my key, which is G, I have to play it in D. It's Friday. Don't ask me why day. Hey, hooray! It's Friday. Whee! 